This project pretty much came about in my brain about six years ago. It's really hard to do something in a half pipe that really hasn't been done before. You know, channels have been cut, different angles, but uh, I feel like a lot of that's been um, you know, overused and got to come up with something creative. This is the most unique thing we've ever built and uh, it's been really cool because it's been a learning process and uh, for us with SBT we've kind of been able to bring in our whole A team and it's really cool to kind of see it come together because like we said it's been an idea that Simon's had for years. All the money. I, was, I was right in his age. The biggest thing was getting my line so I had to ski the pipe for a day. Uh, the tough part about that was kind of windy, things were slow. That was it. You know, we measured it exactly to where Simon's riding. We flagged it and uh, marked it all out. And then uh, Aaron Detling had uh, self-leveling lasers. And we actually set the lasers across on the walls and it finds what true gravity is. And that's the angle that you see. That's a true gravity cut there. There's not many places that have, or are willing to give up their half pipe to just be chopped up. What did I get myself into? <laughs> you don't really realize how big a 22 foot half pipe is until the back of the wall is cut off, both the walls are cut out, and you see that, yeah, I'm 15 feet off the deck, but that's, you know, 37 feet off the ground. The thing that is a little worrisome is that there's not much warm up. You know, I drop in and I have to go probably traveled 25 feet my first hit, so there's no warming up into it. If he's doing an 18 foot, 19, 20 foot air out of the pipe, and it's a 22 foot tall pipe wall, that means he's 42 feet off the floor at any given point. So if he misses, it's like a four story, five story drop. The biggest thing for me that uh, I wasn't really prepared for was how much of the side of the wall would really play into my brain. He's used to seeing the lip all the way down and getting a point of reference and he didn't have that. And you know, he's doing big gnarly tricks on uh, big areas of pipe that don't exist when they normally do. <laughs> I mean, when I did the, the double nine in the third hit, I mean, I full on saw the, the gap going over twice and I'm just like, whew, first one, you're like, okay, do I got it? Second one, you're like, I got it. Kind of get up, a little psyched. I think my big motivation is just pushing the sport. You know, there, I, there's only so much you can do in a half pipe. And I mean, this idea has been happening in my head for six years and I've just been thinking about it. Just, just something I claimed and something I envisioned and I wanted to make sure that I followed through.